How do I? Oh. Oh, we're rolling? <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. I decided to uh, document my ex whole experience with this whole trendy new quarantine thing, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I think it's every gamer's dream to get self-isolated from all society, so I think it's going to be a pretty good experience, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Ever felt so isolated you could die at any moment of boredom? <laughs> yeah, even me, the introvert, the homebody. A couple months ago, I would have loved to stay in my house for a couple of weeks, but once some little old government tells me to stay inside my house, I suddenly have the urge to go outside. Well, now that we're all stuck in our homes for the time being, I'm sure a lot of you are trying to find the best coping strategy to get through all this, and that's why I'm here. I'm a gamer. Not only am I a virgin, but I also know how to entertain myself for countless hours on end. I have all the gaming necessities a gamer needs to last them four months. And the best thing about it is I don't need to look, say, or do anything involving the word people. Whether you're a gamer or not, we're all going through this quarantine one way or another. And some of you may be liking it, and some of you are struggling to know what on earth do I do with my life. So I'll be sharing some advice, maybe suggest some games, and with enough strength and motivation, with enough passion and dedication, and with no struggle and with no time at all, you'll be gaming in quarantine. The first question we need to ask ourselves is what games should I play? Everyone has their own taste in games, but maybe this is the time to branch out a bit, maybe try a franchise or a genre you've never played before. And whenever I think of self-isolation, I always think of the games that I like to call time wasters. Games that you get so invested into that you could care less about life. Games that give you so much freedom and stuff to do you don't realize till you check the time you've been playing for six hours straight. Yes, I'm talking about your Minecrafts, your Animal Crossings. These are the type of games you can pour hours into without even scratching the surface of amount of content they offer. And there's tons of them to choose from. The new Animal Crossing couldn't have come out in a better time than now. Minecraft is probably the most accessible game on the planet. And Terraria is like, what, 10 bucks? Which is insane for the amount of content it has. I know these games aren't for everyone, but there's something about being immersed into a game with so much freedom and creativity that you can't help but not play for hours. Of course, that's not what all the gaming world has to offer. Time to pull up the big boy slacks, cause we're playing pro gamer games now, boy! Competitive multiplayer games have always been a decent fun romp for me. You see, I'm sort of in the awkward middle where I'm a Nintendo fanboy that owns a Wii U, but I'm also not afraid to play some hardcore Deem Deathmatch in Call of Duty. It's pretty obvious I'm more biased to all of this, but I've played my fair share of Overwatch, and I know a thing or two about toxic gaming. One game that I've been enjoying recently is Apex Legends. It's a free, fast-paced battle royale. If you have a console or a decent PC, I recommend checking this one out. If multiplayer games aren't your cup of tea and you have no friends to play with, there's always the realm of single-player entertainment. If you like fantasy adventure games, there's the Legend of Zelda franchise. If you have a lot of time in your hands, I've heard Persona 5 is, uh... <coughs> decently long game. There's roguelikes that usually consist of randomly generated elements of gameplay that keep the experience fresh every time you play. There's polished 2D platformers like Celeste, racing games like Mario Kart, and we've already went over the time wasters. All these games are fine and dandy if you actually play games, but I'm sure some of you are asking, what if I'm not a gamer? I have no console to play. I have no gaming PC. And to that, I say, good luck. Uh, the door's right there to leave. Uh, I'm sorry. <sighs> We're really talking about this, huh? Yikes. Okay, so I'm not a mobile gamer. I don't play mobile games that much, if not at all. I mean, look at me. I have an iPhone 5SE. You have no idea how much I get bullied for owning this. About the only game I play on a consistent basis is Clash Royale. I used to play my fair share of mobile games, but nowadays I'm just not the biggest fan of them. It's a decent distraction if I'm really bored or not at the house, but I would be lying if I said this isn't the most accessible way to entertain yourself. I won't go into great detail about this, but there are thousands of games to access on your phone, and some of them can honestly get pretty addicting. Of course, you already know what my favorite is, Clash Royale, made by Supercell. You build decks of cards consisting of troops to place in arenas. Each game is a 1v1 match and whoever destroys the most towers or destroys the main tower wins. There are tons of cards to choose from. Some help with offense, some help with defense or support. It's a simple yet strategic game that isn't that hard to get into. 
There's also puzzle games like Candy Crush, defense games like Plants vs. Zombies. You can even get Minecraft, which isn't that bad of a port. And who can forget classics like Jetpack Joyride, Subway Surfers, Plague Inc., Fruit Ninja, and Crossy Roads. It's not my ideal way of entertainment, but if it's all you have, knock yourself out. Ever looked at your Steam library of 200 games and thought, Man, I just have nothing to play. Everyone experiences video game burnout every so often. You get so used to your own library of games that you just don't feel like playing them. But maybe you just aren't looking in the right places. Instead of looking at the current time period, why not take a step back a notch? Ah uh, yes, the world of retro gaming. Sometimes you just need to take yourself back to where it all began. Find a game that's nostalgic to you. I know everyone doesn't have a library of retro games just sitting in their room like I do, but I'd be surprised if you don't have an old DS somewhere or an old Xbox sitting in your closet. Sometimes all one needs is an N64, an old CRT TV, and some good old Banjo and Kazooie to pass the time. Nowadays, there's plenty of different ways to access these older games. It's always a good time looking back and enjoying the systems that got you into gaming in the first place. Another way to spice things up a bit is to repurpose your games. Playing a video game the same way over and over gets really old really fast. Maybe try speedrunning your favorite game. <laughs> I've heard that can be fun. Or maybe try a unique challenge like beating your favorite Mario game without touching a single coin. That's pretty trendy. It's always interesting seeing how people can make do with what they got. One thing I like to do from time to time is beating a game to 100% completion. I mainly do this with the 3D Mario games. There's something about completing a game to complete completion that's so satisfying. Some games even give you rewards for putting that much time and effort into beating it fully. Speedrunning has always been an interesting pastime to me. Watching someone absolutely destroy your favorite game can be really entertaining. But watching is different from doing it. I've done a little speedrunning in my day. It's a like-hate relationship, but who knows? Maybe speedrunning could be your favorite new hobby or diagnose you with anger issues. <laughs> I've seen both happen. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'm set. I got everything I need to survive this self-isolation. I can last for days. I can't do this anymore. I can't live in this alternate cutesy world of Animal Crossing any longer. I can only watch ads on mobile games for so long, and if someone picks Pathfinder before me in Apex one more time, I think I'm gonna lose it. I guess it's safe to say that the lesson here is gamers need social interaction. Or maybe I'm just overthinking everything. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Horizons on my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> okay, I'm done with this.